that the test has no diagnostic value in confirming lumbar radicular pain due to lumbar disc herniation, but may have at least moderate clinical value in excluding its presence. You'll grab a hold of the patient's leg in a way that you can ensure full knee extension during the test. Then slowly lift up the leg to induce hip flexion while maintaining full knee extension and carefully observe the patient's reaction. The test is considered positive if the patient's familiar radicular pain is reproduced. We would expect to elicit symptoms fairly early on in a range below 60 degrees of hip flexion where we wouldn't expect to be limited by, for example, tight hamstrings. Stepwise modifications could also be used to evaluate symptom reproduction, for example, including the addition of ankle dorsiflexion at a point of discomfort to amplify symptoms or asking the patient to flex the neck to increase symptom response. Special test is only as good as your clinical reasoning and the results have to be evaluated within the entire clinical picture. <laughs>